My name is Zhou Li Xu. I'm a pure mathematician at uh, UC San Diego. The subject I'm studying is called topology, which is the subject that studies spaces. We have to classify things up to some equivalence relation. The typical one is called homotopy, which means two spaces are homotopic to each other if they, one can be continuously deformed to the other one. So imagine a partially inflated basketball. Imagine the process that we put gas into the basketball. So the basketball gradually becomes fully inflated, which is like a perfect sphere. This kind of process, if we just focus on the surface of the basketball, is a continuous deformation. Another example would be if you have a basketball and you just puncture it, that will not be a continuous deformation because the point we're puncturing at will be discontinuous. Another typical example topologist likes to talk about is from a coffee cup to a donut. And you can see a picture which the coffee cup gradually deforms in a donut. So in daily li lives, we live in three-dimensional, four-dimensional world. So if we want to describe a position or location in the space, we usually use coordinates. But in topology, we don't necessarily just study dimension three or four. We could, it could be any dimension. It could be very high dimension. My work is about how different dimensional spheres map to each other. There are many questions regarding the spheres. One of them is the smooth structures on spheres. A smooth structure is basically something we can perform calculus on the sphere. So we can differentiate functions on the sphere. A famous question would be to classify all possible smooth structures on spheres. It turns out in low dimensions, there are usually only one smooth structure. And in higher dimensions, there could be many, many different smooth structures. With my collaborator, we proved that uh, among all, all dimensional spheres, uh, one, three, five, and 61, are the only dimensions where this odd dimensional sphere has a unique smooth structure. The theorem regarding the sphere in dimension 61 is actually proved by a computation uh, using something called the, the classical Adams spectral sequence. So this is the starting point of a spectral sequence. And all of these are decided by homological algebra. And the job is to try to find something called differentials, which will be seen on this picture as line segments with negative slopes. So for example, in this range, we have this one, that's a differential. And we have these two red ones. These are also differentials. So whenever there's a differential, it connects two dots and it cancels them. So therefore, in the end, there is something called the infinity page where we just remove all the dots that are connected by differentials. So it turns out this infinity page tells us the size of the stable homotopy groups of spheres. So for example, if you go to column 61, you can see there's no dot left in this whole column. And that corresponds to the fact that the sphere in dimension 61 has a unique smooth structure. And as you can see, there are just the many dots left in a general dimension. So this uniqueness of smooth structure phenomena is kind of rare in high dimensions. So people have been trying to study uh, the stable homotopy groups of spheres since a hundred years ago. Due to its difficulty, whenever there's a new method introduced, people can get a few more dimensions, but then it will hit a wall preventing us to know even further. My collaborator and myself, we discovered a method which allows us to prove three differentials in the range of dimension 60 and 61. And one of them was particularly hard. We wrote about 40 pages in our paper, which is published in the Annals of Mathematics. But what's even more interesting is later on, my collaborators and I discovered a whole new method, which is so powerful that the 40 pages now becomes obsolete. We discovered a new connection between two subjects in mathematics. So one is Motivic Homotopy Theory, a theory designed to study problems in algebraic geometry using methods in homotopy theory. Our new discovery realized that this motivic homotopy theory can also be used in the other direction to study problems in classical topology. So this new connection allows us to create a method that, that can be uh, used to compute differentials 
in the classical atoms spectral sequence. And as a result, uh, the 40 pages, which is used to prove this, this one single differential now becomes just one line proof. My collaborator and I are very honored to got invited to speak at the ICM, the International Congress of Mathematicians. We are going to talk about our work uh, on the computations of the stable homotopy groups of spheres uh, and our new method in computing this. We were able to re-establish a lot of earlier hard differentials and we were able to extend the computations up to dimension 90, which was only previously known up to dimension around 60.